Amazon made some uh, pretty cool disclosures uh, across, particularly across uh, shopping and logistics. Um, and while it wasn't related uh, 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 to that, uh, we did have a great interview with AWS CEO Matt Garman. And while the company tries to like, you know, say hey, AWS is separate from the rest of Amazon, 100% AWS technologies are being used uh, across uh, Amazon. Yeah, I think, I think we could cover this as kind of like a what's up with Amazon, what's up with Amazon and AWS and AI. Maybe yeah. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the announcements. We could chat a minute about the conversation with Matt Garman. I think that to some extent um, needs to be shared and let people see it. But the, you know, first of all, maybe something of worth note is just these big companies are the probably best customer zeros on the planet for a lot of this AI technology. And so when you look at Amazon, of course, we have the AWS business. What are they building that enables other companies? And of course, they have the AWS business. And what are they building that can then be deployed for their own Amazon footprint? And that's really interesting. So yesterday, they made a bunch of AI disclosures or, uh, you know, one is about vision-assisted package retrieval. They're calling it Vapor. It's a basically something that they think can reduce a route by 30 minutes um, and, and per delivery. Um, they're, gonna, they're going to, I believe, deploy it in 1,000 vans to start off. But, you know, this is the number one growth hack challenge is when you've gone from two days to prime to same day to a few hours to minutes, like, you know, with the exception of these packages dropping out of the sky to get more efficiency. Now we're down to the point where it's literally minutes make a difference because they're trying to get stuff to us so quickly. So they're working on using AI to basically you know, optimize routes using vision assistance, and they're going to deploy that out to about a thousand and uh, vehicles this year, and, and and try to save on average about thirty minutes package. Now, when you're doing millions and millions and millions, you got to think about the efficiencies of this game. So that's super interesting. And of course, Pat, you and I have been, I think, in San Marcos together. We went to one of their fulfillment centers. We did the the yeah. amount of technology in these places is is astronomical. Now, it's not the humanoid robots that we'll talk about later walking around these facilities, but the way they use robots for pick, pack, and ship. Um, this stuff isn't, ha this is not like, you know, Amazon, while it does employ like a million people and they have tons of seasonality and you need a lot of people still, they have been on the forefront of investing in technology to basically enable this expedited service. So all of us sit in our couch and when we need something, right, we just click in, we order it, and then voila, it shows up at our door. There's a lot of technology in it. And so right now these new fulfillment centers, robot driven, state-of-the-art AI, new logistics systems, and they're calling it their advanced fulfillment center, and they believe they can take 25% of cost. So efficiency, as I've said, the prune to grow first part of AI, another great example here, how it's being done in factories. And then, of course, they talked about their new AI shopping tools. So this is not surprising. And by the way, it ties very nicely to Amazon's ads business. I've been sharing a little bit of content about this on my tweet, on my Twitter lately. Is it Twitter? Can I call it Twitter? Um, that you know, this is a forty-plus billion-dollar business now. Ads are growing, but also you know, being able to use AI to put the right product in front of people uh, and get the best pricing. So Amazon kind of pushed out that they're using more visual shopping tools, more personalized recommendations, and they are saying that they helped customers save a billion dollars. Now, I don't know if this exactly uh, you know becomes the Elon Musk Office of Government Efficiency here for corporations if they're saving. The more you buy, the more you save. I think this is the new CEO verdict of you save you more as long as you spend more. <laughs> but they're using tools, implementing their technology. And of course, you can be certain this is all built in AWS's cloud, which takes me quickly to, you know, look this week. Uh, Patrick and I uh, had the opportunity, which is rare, to sit down with uh, AWS CEO Matt Garman. This is a really candid conversation, Pat. I, I, I think it was great because Matt, let us really ask him the hard questions. You know, as analysts, you know, we have to uh, be arbiters of what's going on in the market. We can't, um, we can't just accept the, 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 you know, the talking points. We have to kind of get underneath it a bit. And there was a lot of speculation about Amazon being behind in Gen AI, Bedrock coming late, models coming after, not having the technology and then, of course, growth slowing and not having much comment in any of their recent earnings about AI's impact. We hit Matt on all these That's things. Right. And then, of course, 
Uh, you you hit them up on our favorite topic, build the silicon or buy the silicon. And there's a lot on that one too. Matt gave us some great feedback there. I'm going to leave it a little bit op opaque here because I want people to watch the episode. But it was a great conversation. Um, and you know, I know you're 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 going to have some more time with Matt soon. But uh, you know, thanks Matt, thanks AWS for making the time, and uh, everyone out there, look for us to drop that that pod. Pat. I'm going to pass this topic back to you. Yeah, you pretty much drained uh, drained this topic, uh, which is uh, which is fine. You know, that's why uh, why I gave you first bat. It wasn't that much there. It wasn't yeah, a big one. You pretty much uh, hit everything. But you know, some some of the announcements that came out: uh, vision assisted package retrieval, uh, talking about advanced fulfillment center uh, technologies, AI shopping tools. Again, uh, all delivered by AWS uh, technologies and. And one of the things that I think is important is that uh, when, you know, AWS, first of all, it, it did not partner with OpenAI uh, at, at the outset. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think when it comes to how AWS has historically made its decisions, it's all about scale. Like, what do we have to create uh, where we can have the, the, the ultimate uh, scale? Um, and, and I'm look, you know, I also think this is a, while I do think that Microsoft got the upper hand, uh, on this thing, I do think that it's a marathon and not necessarily a race. And the big competition is who's going to get, uh, share shift, uh, customers and not, this is never binary. Like everybody uses at least two cloud providers, but. Uh, it's more on an application basis. Those new generative AI infused applications, uh, who's going to get those? And I think time will tell on uh, on if there there were uh, if there were share shift. Competition's good.